come on. at a restaurant and the girls kept telling me I should do it so after a couple summers working there I decided to send some pics in and it worked out. This GQ Taiwan story I did a couple months ago, that was pretty awesome. Um, what do I do? That's a good question. Recently got a video camera so we've been just sticking around with that. Uh, a lot more traveling. I meet people from all over the place. I like to cook too. I'm a wicked alma maker, to be honest. <laughs> I got the flip down, and it's <laughs> breakfast is a specialty. I took a chance with it and I went to London, did the test shoot, and then I uh, I immediately went to go and see Russell Marshall Prada. Um, I've done, I actually did the Burberry campaign, you know, the main campaign. I did the lookbook for Burberry in the Spanish collection. I wouldn't say I was shy. I mean, I, 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 I wasn't very outspoken. My confidence and like me as a person has changed quite a lot. I've been able to talk to other people and, you know, I don't really get nervous about anything anymore, really. Come on. start modeling. I was scouted a couple times actually, but I remember I was really, really skinny and I had braces on my teeth. Okay. My face was actually covered with pimples. I went to Australia and got an agency there and just started taking off. I went to Japan and uh, okay. did a Coca-Cola commercial. So it just started um, snowballing. <laughs> After a while of being in uh, all the major cities, it gets a bit too urban for me. So I try to get out into the country. I go skiing, uh, mountain climbing, anything with nature. was a big break. I showed up as the young kid uh, that nobody knew. It, my life changed dramatically. I mean, I live in the city. I work in the city. I'm, I'm a busy guy. Uh, Kelvin Klein, uh, Dolce Gabbana. Um, you know, basically we shoot for editorial. We shoot all every brand there is. Burberry and Gucci and Versace uh, and all that stuff. Oh yeah, that was a yeah. great, great shoot. I mean, just the fact that the whole cast of Cirque du Soleil was there. You know, the producer and uh, and all the stage stage people. Uh, it was, I mean, it was it was something in the middle of Bellagio in, in Las Vegas um, to have the whole the whole uh, theater there basically at your disposal for the shoot. It was great. It was really great. It was something. It was uh, an event of a lifetime. I think. I think. Possibly since then, I've, I've uh, I found myself uh, to, to try to act a little bit more for for the camera. That was perfect, perfect, very different edit. From Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I started my life, I got scattered off the street. Uh, I've done Dior, I've done a lot of campaigns, I've done D Squared, Hugo Boss. Um, too many, I can't, I can't really remember. It hasn't really changed me that much, I'm still me, I mean, I'm still the same person that I was, just in magazines and books and shit, that's really it. Josh is just like a regular guy, you know, I just, yeah. I just, I just like to do, you know what I mean, what regular guys like to do, you know what I mean, I like to eat, I like to watch sports, play sports, you know what I mean, chill with my girlfriend, you know what I mean, hang out with my family, my friends, you know what I mean, that's really it, just be me, I live it today, you know what I mean? I went to a model search, I, you know, I just heard something on the radio for uh, modeling and at the time I was desperate to make money, I mean, I was a broke college okay. kid. The first week after the model search I got a job, it was okay. like, you know, it was paying really well for the two hours of work that I was doing. And I was like, man, okay. maybe this could work. When I shot Loma Vogue, I did five stories and that's when things took off. I, I flew to Milan, I probably worked with all the designers, Gucci, uh, Versace, Valentino. Cavalli, Miu Miu, runways. Yeah. Um, so that's where everything came from was from the runway and then that kind of evolved into catalogs and campaigns. And pretty much I'm just having fun doing what I'm doing. I'm from 
uh, England, from Leeds, was in the north of England. And a friend of mine was a model down in London. She was just like, how's life going? Not really much going on. So I went down to London, met her agency, and that, that was it. I shot like uh, Dolce Gabbana a couple okay. of years back. And uh, like, after I did that, things started to sort of uh, get a bit bigger for me, and I started to do uh, a lot bigger work. I enjoy the lifestyle a lot. It gives you a lot. Yeah, you, know, you have a lot of time also to have your own interests and stuff. And um, yeah, I've seen some really cool places as well. I really like it. I play a lot of sports. When I'm, when I'm not working, I play a lot of basketball. I broke my finger yesterday. I don't know if you can see that. It's supposed to be like that. It's kind of messed really up. Do. I just tape it up or something. A friend brought me into my agency in Portland, Oregon. She wanted a model and she's like, want to do Playboy and stuff like that. And then they're, they're like, what about you? And I was like, no, you guys just dissed my uh, my best friend. I'm out of here. And she made me go back. That the Lone Woman Vogue was like a, a highlight of my life. Yeah, I got to work with Steve Mazzeau and Mario Testino and, and everybody. Was, I'm very, I've, been, I've been pretty lucky and Chucky. Chucky, he's, he's got so much uh, excitement and so much like uh, inner drive that it's so much fun because he's like, oh, I love it, I love it. And he gives you like, gives off like uh, this energy that makes you get the energy and, and like, so he makes it fun. I mean, it's really cool. Yeah, really this guy has so much energy. <laughs> yeah. I've never worked with anybody that has as much energy. I mean, okay, that. Really? and it's great. Yeah, it's great. He's like, sexy, sexy. And he can move around too. Oh, yeah. We got one picture off and it felt like 30 seconds. She was fun, you know what I mean? Real energetic, you know what I mean? Nice guy. Just great time, man. great time. Yeah, he's, he's really cool. He's really into it. That was great. That was, that was good fun. You can have a laugh around it. It makes you feel comfortable. You can just kind of play around and see what you can come up with. So, yeah, it's nice. He's a lot of energy, so it makes it fun. He's a wild dude. <laughs> he's a lot of fun to work with, though. He keeps it interesting. I, I love working with Chunky and I think he's brilliant in just the way he puts everything together. It's, you know, he, he has he has that that vision for for the whole thing. And that's what makes you a great photographer. Oh yeah, perfect. The camera is tethered to the computer and the computer um, captures all the images digitally. And then they are processed out into Photoshop and retouching and then the photographer gets approval and it's all done. Hi, we're House. We specialize in digital post-production and photo retouching. We're about to meet with Chunkai to discuss the details of the project. We can change it and put it online and see what he thinks. Shoot for GQ Taiwan. Thanks for having me on the show, and I uh, hope to see you soon. Really cool. You just look great. It's, okay. it's been actually the best uh, experience in my career. Sure. Okay. Shout out to uh, Taiwan GQ. You guys are the best. I want to shout out Brooklyn and the story of Queens. You know what I mean? All my people out there. One love. Yes, yes. Ni hao, I'm Philip Huang. I'm in New York on GQ Taiwan. Uh, uh, I want to my friends in GQ Taiwan. Hello. And say hey to GQ Taiwan. Hi.